Welcome, everybody, to Velvet After Dark 2. I'm Velvet Sky. And I'm Angelina Love. And we are the beautiful people. And you know, I have a bone to pick with y'all. So the last Velvet After Dark, we got I got so much heat for the attire that I had on, the sexy velvet sky attire that you all grew to love, that you salivated over for my entire career. But I come to the NWA, I'm Velvet Sky, in my sexy velvet sky attire, and you all complained, wah. So this, the frumpy look, this is what you guys get. Like it? or not. So anyways, we're going to throw to the next match. Bye. Big time action here on NWA Power Surge. Adorable Anthony Andrews, one half of the country gentleman going up against tracks. I uh, like a hoss fight like this, for sure. Wow, look at the feeling out process between these two guys. Come on, Ladies and gentlemen, a quick programming note here. I'm here with Velvet Sky for this episode of uh, Power Surge. Here Tim Storm is on assignment. We are so busy getting things ready for hard times in New Orleans. He's got to take care of some office, office duties. work. Yeah, duties. There you go. But we That's miss you, Tim, and we're work. thinking about you. Yeah, he'll be back at the commentary desk very soon. Stiff boot. Right to the gut of track. Shoot. Oh, and look oh, at the, the shoulder wrist. tackle. Oh. I like seeing it. Anthony Andrews in singles competition. Very skilled with AJ Kazana's tag team partner, Tracks, trying to take the bigger Anthony Andrews off his feet. Blows right through the shoulder. And again, Andrews. That's the line. Takes him off his feet finally. Yeah, flying through the air at that. Shoulder tackling. Trax is on track right now. Oh. Face first into the buckle. Oof. Close line to the back, just laying. Line siding yeah. Trax. Uh oh. Oh, stiff shots. These guys are rough and tumble for sure. Tracks a very accomplished professional wrestler on the independent scene, over 10 years of experience. Had that recent loss to EC3 during his debut here. Now. Shoots him in the buckle, charges him pretty hard. I was gonna say he has an opportunity with Anthony Andrews, but Andrews is just dominating. Full head of steam. Oh, oh the knee right across the nose. Anthony Andrews got to be cheering on his tag team partner, AJ Kazana, who is in the hunt for that television championship. Tracks fighting back. Oh, gets cut right back off. Into the gut, dropping the elbow. Oh, to the chest. Wow. Oh, another one! Is it gonna shut down Anthony Andrews or is it just Big gonna boot. wake him up? That's what we're gonna ask him. Oh, the oh. boot takes down tracks. Cover now. Look at that inside leg, kick out. Again, Anthony Andrews, we've seen this before where he likes to target the face and the shoulders simultaneously with that hold. It looks like he's digging his fingers into the face as well. And Trax making his way to his feet. Oh. Anthony Andrews fighting. Shoved right back down. Fighting a little dirty here, and yeah, look at that. Going after the nose, going after the face. It's not very adorable, is it, Joe? No, it is not. Anthony Andrews now slowing the pace of the match down. Trax in a little bit of trouble here. Got to find a small opening to take over and, and somehow get out of this. And there he goes. That ax handle to the gut of Andrews. Andrews answers back with a hit of his own. Collapsing Trax. Full head of steam. Oh, he's looking Misses. for a leg drop. 
Oh, Trax is hurt. He's feeling it right now. Yeah, but look at Anthony Andrews. He came down hard on his left hip. Eats a big punch from Trax. Finally gaining some momentum. Oh, but the damage has been done and it's set in for Trax. You can tell as he oh! throws him, throws the big man. Absolutely launched Anthony Andrews. Here comes the freight train. Boomy hits it. Right into the station. Full head of steam. But Anthony Andrews pop up into the spine buster. Covered by tracks. Shoulders are down. Kick out. Ooh, so close. So close. Can hear the crowd now getting yeah. behind tracks. Tracks is getting pumped. Tracks is getting ready. He wants to have a big victory in his second match here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Gets him up wow, on the shoulders. Look at the strength of Trax. And again, Andrews uh, going after the nose. Just digging his fingers into the nose. Was he picking his nose? <laughs> yes, he certainly was. Pump handle up on the shoulders. Uh -oh, not good for Trax as he gets slammed yeah. down hard on the mat cover now. Calls it the hay baler. You got him. Big win. The winner of this match, Anthony Andrews. Big victory for Anthony Andrews here on Power Surge. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Daniel Double Deals, Triple D, the Deal Machine, whatever you want to say, not hanging at the Deals House, but with the lovely candy. Candy, how you feeling? Me too. We got great deals. Now listen, everybody knows I love the logo. We love the logo shirts, but we decided we're going to do a couple other things. I hate this little goofball, but I, I own them anyway. Everybody saw the pay-per-view. I know you saw it. I'll make a deal with anybody. I cut a deal with Count Chocula for his little gimp buddy. That's almost gone. Tyrus Smash. I don't know why. Well, it, he ain't around, is he? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Look at this one. Brother Smash and everything. Look at this one. Now, CJ talked me into this one. You're still my number one. But this is where the magic happens. That's what I'm talking about. Go to the NWA shop. All deals are candy approved. I love you. Get everything. Buy it so I can make more stuff. Thank you. Bye. Welcome back to Velvet After Dark 2. And we always felt the beautiful people were such magic that we decided to have magic in our presence. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry. So, please welcome, uh, sir, would you, would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all you freaky bastards of all ages, feast your eyes on magic incarnate. Evil magic incarnate. The magic bastard, magic Jake Dumas. Thank you, ladies, for having me on. The pleasure is all yours and his lovely assistant, CJ. Lovely. So we were just wondering, what do you two plan to accomplish here in the NWA? I mean, you obviously have the presence, the magic, your lovely assistant. What is it that you're after here in the NWA? It's quite simple, it's easy. I just want all of you to believe, that's it. I mean, how, how hard is it to believe in the magic bastard? I mean, I'm so great that even my lovely, lovely assistant CJ has started learning English to, to make me sound better. Go ahead, CJ, tell, tell, tell him what the Alexa Take told. it away, Angelina. Jake's grocery list. Eggs, milk. She's on Siri mode. Trojan. Extra, no, 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 extra no, 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 no. small. Pull, 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 pull. That's it, that's it. She said, she's, okay. okay, we gotta throw it to the next match, guys. Thank you. Uh. The bell has rung, and welcome back to the action here on Power Surge. I love seeing the action in our junior heavyweight division. Eric Jackson going up against a debuting soda pop. Soda pop, I'm very, very familiar with the work that he does on the independent scene, especially around the Texas territory, one could say. Ah, trained by Roger Mack Jazz. I can't think of two better trainers oh, for you either. Absolutely not. Making a name for himself and big opportunity here in the NWA. We know we got so many quality junior heavyweights. He pulls the arm into the pin. I 
we say the NWA is the land of opportunities for new talent to showcase their skills, show us what they, and show us what they could do. Eric Jackson, we know just how courageous and tough he is. And athletic. 100%, never shows any fear. Goes in extremely technical. Sweeps the leg of Eric Jackson. Goes for the stop, but he misses. Eric Jackson sweeps the leg cover. One count. Junior heavyweight division, red hot. We know Kerry Morton's going to be taken on homicide at hard times in New Orleans. Ticket information at nwatix.com. We want to see you in the Big Easy for hard times in New Orleans and Revolution Rumble the next day, November 12th and 13th. Soda Pops got that side headlock. Eric Jackson shoots him off. Big shoulder tackle. Eric Jackson does have a size advantage in this matchup. Able to block the hip toss. Delivers a hip toss of his own now. Soda Pop. Big Picked scoop, up. big slam. Eric Jackson has found a rhythm. <laughs> Look at the power. Look at the strength of Jackson. Up for a five count. Covered by Eric Jackson. Shoulders down. Kick out by Soda Pop. He's asking the crowd, should I do another one? Not good for Soda Pop. When you're upside down in that position for so long, all It'll, the blood rushing to your head, it throws you off. Oh, but he's able yeah, to he was escape it. Able to telegraph it. Catches the boot. Oh. And Zaguri, the toe went right into the cheekbone this of Eric Jackson. Looks like the opening that Soda Pop needed. Soda Pop. Nice leg drop. Dropping the leg. Covered by Soda Pop. Kick out. And now Soda just trying to slow the momentum of Eric Jackson. Jackson making his way to his feet. Elbows to the gut. Gets that distance he was looking for. Try nice. kick from Soda Pop. Pop. Kick, yes. Going for that cover. Soda Trying looking to win for a that victory. Match. Kick out. Looking for a victory in his debut match here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Which I know would mean a lot to him. Oh, of course. Or anyone debuting. You know, he wants to be here. He wants to be a part of this junior heavyweight division. He wants to make history and challenge for that junior heavyweight championship currently held by Homicide. Oh, pick up. Ooh, nice. Beautiful counter, side rush, and leg beautiful, sweep. Beautiful, beautiful. Covered by Soda Pop. Can he get it? Pick out. So close. Soda now driving the knee. Grabbing the chin. That looked like it could almost be a choke at this point, but Kevin Keenan's right there. Eric Jan Jackson is feeding off this crowd here in the NWA arena. Stiff forearms to Soda Pop. Ooh, takes him down hard. Sling blade from Eric Jackson. He has found a second wind. Clothesline in the corner, following up. Bulldog. Oh, turn him inside out with that bulldog. Covered by Eric Jackson. Kick Ooh, out. So close. Soda Pop still in this matchup. Eric Jackson going to the oh more. Soda oh Reverses. side steps okay found an opening shaking off the cobwebs but no runs into a big knee from Eric Jackson come on on the middle rope flying to the air Sun sunset flip pin oh no pin Soda pop got caught again oh big German oh, with the bridge with the bridge oh. it's over. The winner of this match, the distraction, Eric Jackson. Huge Eric. congratulations to Eric Jackson, but gotta say, Soda Pop, that was an impressive debut here in the NWA. Hope to see him back here soon. Big win on Power Surge for Eric Jackson. We gotta take a break, we'll be back.
Everybody is trying to get into the NWA, but in order to get into the NWA, you have to get wrestling training. So you gotta get training! You hit it on the head, man! You gotta be coached up! You gotta get the right training from the right person in the right facility! You gotta get somebody who's got a track record, man! Someone's been there, done that, they've headlined big, big buildings, venues all around the world! Not just in Atlanta, the Omni, the Omni, the house that Austin Idol built, baby. Memphis, Tennessee, riotous crowd shaving somebody's head, the hometown hero. We all know who it is. If you want wrestling, if you want wrestling in your life, if you want to be a professional wrestler, if you want to be standing out here with May, like the Universal Heart Drive, Austin Idol, you got to get coached up, darling. You got to come to Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College. Go to the website, Universal Wrestling College. It's so simple. You sign up, we'll get it. We'll check you out. We'll get back to you. We will take you all the way up the mountain to the top, the pinnacle, the peak, the summit, the zenith. Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College. Go there. NWA Wrestling fans, Kyle Davis here in the Control Center, and it's Velvet After Dark, and what's that? That's right, someone stole my shirt, which I'm okay with, because the excitement, the anticipation, it's all building, and I don't know if I could be that clothed to handle the heat that's coming off this pay-per-view, folks. Hard times, the hardest of hard times, in New Orleans, Chalmay, Louisiana, right outside of New Orleans. Hey, do you like new experiences? You like to try new things? You like to be part of the action? Go to nwatix.com to get your tickets now. Or maybe you're one of those casual observers who like to sit back and watch other people when they're just doing their thing and enjoying the moment and the action. That's okay, nothing wrong with that. Fight.tv, order for the comfort of your own home or wherever you have a streaming device. Because folks, the main event is hot three-way action for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. You don't wanna miss that. So many matches, too many to name. The excitement and the anticipation, it can't be contained in one control center, but I've got two more matches to share with you folks. Mask versus mask, question mark versus question mark two. Two men enter, one man wins, one man has to unmask and show his identity to the world, live on pay-per-view. The NWA World TV title match, no one likes it when they're in the moment and they can't finish. We still need a TV champion. William Patrick Corgan's made it official, so at hard times in New Orleans, Jordan Clearwater versus AJ Gazana, one man will walk away as the brand new NWA World Television Champion. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? That's hard times. Folks from the Control Center, this has been Kyle Davis. Let's go back to Velvet After Dark. Welcome back to Velvet After Dark 2. And we are joined now by Natalia Markova and Taryn Terrell. Ladies, since joining forces here in the NWA, you've had a very unique relationship. I mean, what is it that drew the two of you together? Is it because you both have blonde hair? I mean, I mean, it's me. I mean, obviously, right? Like, oh, so everybody really does want to work with me. And the thing is, is that I can bring anybody to the championship because, I mean, that's just the things that I know. Uh, what, I don't know why you're taking it from me. I don't think she really speaks English also. So we need a point here. You see how dumb she is? She still can't she figure out that she always tries to take the mic from me and tries to um, take my spot. Okay, and so I don't let's know just why. See, we're not, it's really yeah, aggravating. We're not in relationship. I'm I don't want to be even I'm in heels. Why are you so strong? Why did you steal my move last time? Stop <gasps> it. Stop. This is Velvet After Dark. We don't do this here. I ask the questions. Hey, we save it for the ring. Stop. Egos, ladies, don't you ever, ever grab the microphone from me again on my own show. So I want to mention that I'm an actual model here and these girls are just in my background. I modeled bigger. I modeled for what you modeled. All right, bye. That's okay. Shut up. Bye. Please throw it to the next match now. Now get off me. Hurry up, hurry up. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA arena. Casey Rocks with a huge opportunity going up against an undefeated Rolando Freeman. Rolando Freeman, 
super impressive since making his debut here in the NWA, defeating Matt Cardona not once, but twice. Uh, that's that's such a big feat. I mean, Matt Cardona, we talk about all the time, former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. You know he's gunning for that championship at hard times in New Orleans. Yes. Big triple threat match. Tyrus, Trevor, Matt Cardona, and Rolando going right after Casey Rock. And looks can be deceiving, and I feel like that's why Matt Cardona chose Rolando. You know but what I mean? Look at this. this <laughs> look at this. Ron, Rolando's got fire. He's got lots of fire. He's tenacious. He's fierce. Fearless. And Casey Rocks, I mean, you know, he's under Casey that learning. Casey Rocks is getting rocked. He's under that learning tree of Aaron Stevens, you know, the master of Mongrovian karate. But Aaron Stevens doesn't seem I, to I, care. He's I so mean, oblivious Casey to what's Rocks going on. Casey Rocks is supposed to be your your pupil, your student. And look at, there we go. He's feeling spectacular. Okay, Rolando, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Rolando looking he's for something big fly. in the time. Oh! Oh, takes him. Takes him down. Casey Rocks was trying to block it, but just couldn't. <laughs> Flying through the air, big headbutt. But did you notice Aaron Stevens got out of dodge for that one? He sure did. Aaron Stevens didn't want any part of that. Aaron Stevens really doesn't want part of life. I, it seems like it. It's so bizarre, like and that's own, saying something for Aaron. In his own world. What is it with that black glove? I can't. Get over that. Well, you know, what we, is that? We heard it from our, our commentary partner, Tim Storm. He believes he loads that thing up. It's he loaded. puts a weapon in that glove. That is a loaded glove. Oh! Woo! So you got to watch out. Orlando packs a punch. Here comes Aaron Stevens over to the commentary. Right, Aaron Stevens is apparently just going to join us. In, not sure if he's going to put on a headset or not, but he just wanted to. I guess the best seat in the house. Absolutely. Witnessing the demise of incompetence, according to Aaron Stevens. Casey Rocks. Said. Moving out of the way. And I'd have more questions for Aaron Stevens, but he's already leaving. And didn't put a headset on to answer them anyways. Joe, what division would they be in? Featherweight? I think that they would be featherweights. Yeah. But, I mean... Uh, but, I mean, Rolando went up against a heavyweight. That's right. I mean, Rolando, I mean, he might be a featherweight physically, but, but he could his, fight heart, his heart and soul is heavyweight. Absolutely. all the way. Being the big brother fears, of Rush Freeman. Fears even. no man, whether it's Matt Cardona. Or Tyrus. Or Tyrus or Trevor Murdoch. Rolando, he wants to fight them all. And, you know, he's been very successful, undefeated. Uh, this could be a big victory for Casey Rocks. If Casey Rocks is able to beat Rolando, then he beat a guy who beat a world champion twice. I like to think of him as Relentless Rolando. Relentless Rolando. Yes. I like that. Yeah. He's going to need to be in this match. It's Casey Rocks. Side rush from Lake Sweet. That was textbook. I have to say, Aaron Stevens has, I guess, done a good job. Drops that elbow on Rolando. He's very proud of himself. <laughs> for dropping the elbow. I, I guess. That's a lot of celebration for one move. And look at Aaron Stevens. What the hell is wrong with you, he says. Oh, he's raining on Casey Rocks' parade. That just gives Rolando time to recover. Oh, the flying headbutt. The flying headbutt. Woo. That's a Rolando rocket to the face. He's relentless. He's got the bow tie. Uh -oh. Bow tie power. He's feeling spectacular, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Crowd loves him. Fired up. Boom. Oh, with the big, big boom. The big boot from Rolando. Cover now. He got him. What? The winner of this match, the biggest brother, Rolando Freeman. Rolando Freeman on fire since joining the NWA. Wow. Still undefeated. Congratulations, Rolando. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back to more action inside the NWA arena. Wrestling fans, the NWA is headed to New Orleans Saturday, November 12th for Hard Times 3 live on pay-per-view and Sunday, November 13th as Wildcat Sports presents Revolution Rumble, an NWA power trip taping event. 
The NWA World's Heavyweight Championship will be decided as Trevor Murdoch, the current champion, defends against Matt Cardona and Tyrus. Also scheduled to appear, NWA World Women's Champion Camille, Max the Impaler, Taryn Terrell, Junior Heavyweight Champion Homicide, Luke and PJ Hawks, The Hawks RE, La Rebellion, and more. Hard Times 3 and The Revolution Rump, November 12th and 13th. Coming to you live from the Frederick J. Seeger Civic Center. Tickets and information available at NWATix.com. That's NWATix.com. Or watch it from anywhere on Fight, the National Wrestling Alliance. Wrestling as it's meant to be. Welcome back to Velvet After Dark 2. We are joined at this time by our very sexy special guest. I love to say his name. Mercurial. Mercurio kind of reminds me of Mario. Anyways, um, so we see that you have a book here. Are you like a best-selling author or something? Actually, I want to tell you, the last time I saw you two ladies, you were dressed up and it was a, a beautiful outfit. And now you got all this uh, pajamas on. Well, we have the pajamas on because the viewers at home complained. We're too sexy. It's too revealing. Wah. So this is what you get now. Anyways, back to you. But I'm not a complaining because maybe we turn the lights down and in a little while you take all the clothes off. Can we, can we please get the lights down right now? Can we do that now? No, the light, light, lights are still on. I want to tell you this is in my beautiful face, honor the book. Now, I wrote another book, and it's a bestseller in Italy, and it's a how to make a love to the beautiful ladies. So how do you make a love to the beautiful ladies with the lights on? I like to leave the lights on sometimes because I like to watch what I do. What exactly are you watching? Sometimes I'm a watching of the front, and sometimes I watch into the back. And when the lights go down, maybe a hand goes here, or maybe a hand goes here. I'm not gonna complain and try to figure it out. Somebody, please turn the lights off right now. Turn them off. Turn them off. We, we gotta throw it to the next match. Turn the lights off. Why are they still on? Main event time here on Power Surge. Jax Dane versus Sal the Pal. And is Sal ready for competition? I, I don't know. He is just always in a daze. I don't know what he's looking at. I think he's at a big disadvantage here because he doesn't have the sinister minister, Father James Mitchell, out here to guide him. I don't even think Sal senses danger right well, now. I, I don't even think, Jack I Stain, think he sees things. Jack Dane calling the out. He says this is going to be done in two minutes. Not even taking his vest off, and that's usually why that, he leaves it on. Yeah, that's, that's what we see. It is a little chilly here in the oh, studio. But Sal but showing his appreciation. He likes For the vest, the furry vest. <laughs> Soft. Yeah, Jack Stain isn't here to play games or be weird or anything Ooh. like that. He's just here to beat up people. And against Sal Renaro, I'm not sure if that's chinchilla or... It's velvet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, you would know, velvet. I would know. He's doing a good job kind of de-shedding the vest, as a matter yeah. of fact. There's a lot of hairs flying throughout the studio. But right knowing Jax is here. Ooh, Sal be, gets the boots up. Jax might be frustrated because Sal is just going to find Oh my gosh, Toho drop Toho. The second buckle. Yeah, I don't think Jax thought that uh, it was even going to take this long. And to there you see Chris Silvio. He doesn't even know what to say. He doesn't know how to react to this either. This is, Do you hear what Sal's saying? Soft, soft. Like he's petting a, a, a dog or a cat. Yeah, well, he's going up against more like a grizzly bear. But Sal has the advantage here because he has he can use his size and his quickness to his advantage to get away from a big man like Jack Stane. Yeah, Sal, he's, he's getting on his bicycle. Sal doesn't even like to look faced. It, it, it makes me wonder, is Sal playing mind games or is he just playing games, you know? Is, is this I think part of the strategy uh, no, or is I, he just no, nuts? This is just Sal. This is just Sal. I don't think he's playing anything. Now, normally, if you see a smaller opponent having a match with a man like Jack Stane, there's a little look of fear or intimidation. Oh, Jack, he's in a chair. Jax is tired of playing this game. But Sal isn't phased in the least bit. Jax has a steel chair. Chris Silvio saying it's not worth it. He's trying to trying to get his client to give him the chair. Put it down. We've already passed the two-minute part for sure. 
Sal oh, the drop kick! The drop kick! And so far, Sal, and it, Sal has been in oh, control oh, of pretty much this entire match. Which we don't see that a lot when Jack Stane is in the match. Pummeling Jack Stane, and Jack Stane picks him up! Oh, 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 oh my god, running him into the steel post. And you can see the pain in the eyes of Sal. And Sal the pal. That was the downfall of Sal. Oh yeah, he's feeling that. Oh, he can hardly breathe at this point. Bring back in the ring. Wow, he just gets... That was one way to get him up onto the apron. <laughs> oh, wow. Targeting the back of Sal the Pal, who has an atomic wedgie on top sure of everything. <laughs> but Jack Stane. Oh, my god. Jack gosh. Stane, I mean, he's serious as a heart attack right now. You never know what you're going to see here in the NWA. <laughs> Almost as furry as the best. But Sounds like Sal's having trouble breathing. Yeah, I, I think it is. How oh, can not be? Stomps the left ankle. Wow. And now the right ankle. Yeah, Jack Stane, he's just punishing Salvador at this point. He the is vest so frustrated. is coming off. I'm wondering if Jack Stane's taking the vest off because he's like, well, this is going to take a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Now going to work on the right hand of Sal Renaro. Just picking apart everything. Oh, the shoulder now, piece by piece. I don't know how much of Sal's going to be left to go back to the middle. Well, Sal's pretty crazy. So he has to just kind of dig deep within for that inner crazy that he comes natural to him. And that's probably how he's going to stand a chance here. You gotta dig deep. Dig deep, Sal. Use that inner crazy. Of course, last time we saw Jack Stane was mouthing off to Anthony Mayweather, who completely snapped. He wanted to get away from this feud that they've had for, for well over a year at this point. Anthony Mayweather is completely over it. Yeah. Completely over it. Doesn't want to. But Jack's just always there egging him on, egging trying him to come on. get Absolutely. Me, saying stuff about his wife, saying stuff about his kids, really despicable yeah. stuff. And it gets personal. Oh, it's so you, when, personal. When the hatred is just between two men, okay, it's easier for one man to step away. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm over you. But when you bring a man's wife, when you bring his child into it, then it gets a little too personal. And that's exactly what happened with Anthony Mayweather. Look at, Jack. Look at Sal the Pal. Look at it, Sal the Pal digging his teeth, digging his incisors into the thumb. And Sal looking for the escape. Oh, he's looking for something big. There's that inner crazy. Sal. Round and round and round. It's around Jax. Oop. And even Jax doesn't know what to do. He can't get his hands on him. Oh, taking the big man off his feet. Very smart strategy by Sal Renaro. I don't think anybody expected Sal Renaro to get Jack Stane off his feet. That's that's a feat in itself. Double drop kick to both knees will definitely do that. Jawbreaker and hell. Look at the look on Sal's face. There's that inner crazy I was talking about. There it is. Full head of steam. He calls it the 6-6-6. Six, six, six. That was more like a 6-6-5, six, six, Joe. It wasn't five quite and all the way there. Because Jack Stane's still on his feet. Oh, super, super kick. kick. Jack Stane's still on his feet. Roll up by Sal Renaro now. If he can pull this off. Woo! So close. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my God. Good night, oh, Sal. Geez. Good night. Oh, he popped the trunk so hard. That was into the face of Sal the Pal. That's got to be it. Oh, wait, but Jack Stane. Why isn't he going for the cover? He's not. Oh, there we there, go. There. Okay. He's taking his time. Got him. The winner of this match, the Dane event, Jack Stane. I think that's a message to everybody in the locker room. Jack Stane, he's always ready for a fight. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Power Surge. We're coming your way this Saturday this with NWA real. with a tribute the to the Fixers. I guess we'll see you then. On behalf of the beautiful people, I just want to thank everybody for watching Velvet After Dark 2, the frumpy version, so nobody can go complain on social media. Hopefully everybody's happy. Um, what did you what do you think? Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. Lovely, thank you. One more question. Do you think we should do a Velvet After Dark 3? Yeah. I think the consensus is yeah.